Hello, everybody. I'm Dio Sinodinos, president of C4 Media, creators of QCon and InfoQ. And it's my pleasure to be talking today to Luca Mechalera, host of the current trends in frontends at QCon London. Thank you for being with us, Luca. Hi, and thank you for having me. Uh, what are you working on these days? Yeah, I'm uh, a principal solution architect at AWS, and uh, what I'm doing is uh, helping our customers to succeed in the cloud. Um, and also, I'm, I'm, I'm helping specifically my position, media entertainment uh, customers, considering my background uh, in uh, uh, broadcasters mainly. Um, in my spare time, I like to interact with the community. I wrote two books. I deliver hundreds of talks worldwide. And I, I like to uh, mentor and, and speak with people, trying to provide my experience that span across 18 years in this industry uh, and, and trying to, to help where I can, considering that I learn a lot from the community. So, And what is your track about, Luca? Why, why is it important? Yeah, the, the front-end track is uh, uh, quite key, I would say, for almost every um, every workload uh, that is in the cloud or on-prem, because in reality, at some point, yes, you need to develop the APIs, but someone has to consume them. Uh, and if we think also the proliferation of uh, uh, SaaS platforms uh, that are out there, they all have an interface. Now, the complexity of those platforms are raising, and therefore, there are uh, a lot of challenges and uh, uh, that we are facing. Moreover, with the COVID situation, teams start to be distributed uh, more often and we started to have larger teams that has to deliver uh, a same platform and working together. So new practices are arising. To think about, for instance, on the back end, microservices are uh, a good one, but also on the front end, we are starting to see a, a raise of distributed architecture with micro front ends and as well on, on the uh, data side with data mesh. Uh, I believe that uh, front end has uh, a lot of innovation. There are a lot of great minds that are uh, constantly innovating, provide the new, uh, let's say, angles from, from the same perspective to think about web assembly, to think about, uh, let's say, the, the concept of um, uh, lazy loading part of the application um, and the different companies that are embracing this uh, uh, these com uh, these concept. I think uh, um, uh, def definitely this track is fundamental for uh, any developer or architect out there. So you talked a lot about... Uh... Uh, change, innovation, some of it being triggered by the pandemic. Uh, what do you think is the biggest, uh, the next biggest trend or disruption that like everyone in software needs to know about? I've, uh, I spent a lot of time in the last few uh, couple of years during pandemic figuring out uh, um, what makes, uh, let's say, software successful and, and trying to understand the latest trends considering the pivot of companies for uh, moving from one direction to another one due to uh, unexpected uh, events like, like uh, the COVID. Uh, and what I realize is that uh, in reality is more than a trend. I'm thinking about an architecture characteristics that it sometimes is intrinsic and we are thinking about that, but often uh, is overlooked. And it's uh, the modularity, I think, is the key. Because uh, nowadays in business, I think we need to support uh, our soft. We need to support the business with our software in a modular fashion. And uh, uh, architecture like Xamarin architecture uh, or micro front ends, microservices, data mesh are all stressing the point of of creating a modular and composable architecture uh, that creates independent teams that can work on uh, a reduced uh, part of the system because the cognitive load for a team uh, is is quite important. We were were used to work with these monolithic code bases that uh, basically uh, ask with a huge ask to the developers to know everything inside out and to maintain consistency and, and a cohesive code base. Uh, now, instead, we are uh, trying to speed up the operation and trying to allow the, the, the business to drift towards any direction. And I think if we think about modularity, that is the next big thing that we need to uh, integrate in every software. So, thank you so much, Luca. You're welcome.